Thank you. So this year for our 20th anniversary, we wanted to take a moment to remember two individuals that helped get the company started. Uh, one was Dr. Steve Haltewanger, incredible medical doctor, clinical nutritionist, who was with us from the early days of LifeWave. And then the second was Coach Richard Quick. So to tell you a, a quick story about this, when I was getting started uh, back in 2002, I was looking to set up manufacturing, do clinical studies, figure out how to market the technology. And uh, along the way, I met a number of different people interested in LifeWave. And uh, one of them said, well, I'm really interested in supporting your company, but um, I don't know anything about medicine or science, so could I have a medical doctor interview you, ask you a bunch of questions, and um, let me see if this is all legitimate. So that person was Dr. Steve Haltewanger. So I spoke to Dr. Haltewanger for three hours, two nights in a row, and we quickly became friends. And uh, he was so excited about the technology, he said, look, I know you're just getting started, uh, but if you're able to get LifeWave off the ground, I would really like to be a part of the company. And, uh, and uh, we became friends, and he helped us uh, in the early days of the company get started. And he was the one that helped to organize all of our clinical research in those very early days. And then, this was before the network, but through the power of network marketing, Dr. Holtewanger wrote a paper about LifeWave. I had written a paper that was written for engineers. So he took that and he wrote a paper based on how other doctors might want to look at the technology. So he sent that paper to a doctor he knew in California, Dr. Carl Merritt. Dr. Merritt looked at it, he was super interested, and then he sent that information over to Coach Richard Quick at Stanford University. So later on, when I was thinking about how the company had gotten patches on Olympic athletes at Stanford University, I realized this all happened through the power of network marketing. And ultimately, that's what convinced me that networking was uh, the right path to take. So about three weeks after uh, Dr. Merritt had received this paper, I received a call from Coach Quick. I flew out to California. We were applying patches to his Stanford women's swim team. And after three weeks of using the energy patches, six out of the eight swimmers had broke their personal lifetime best in their event. And uh, one of the women, uh, Tara Kirk, she was really amazing, a uh, brilliant woman. She broke the world record in the 50-meter breaststroke wearing the LifeWave energy patches. So we were well on our way at that point. And I think uh, we had, we're going to have a video queued up of Dr. Holtewanger and Richard Quick. Um, but I don't know if you're ready to play that or not. If they are, then play it. If not, we'll keep moving. It's interesting how I got involved with LifeWave. One of David's early investors approached me to check out the technology. At that time, David had a small lab and he had invented the technology, but he hadn't gone commercial with it. So I was asked to evaluate the technology. And my first impression was, you know, I wasn't sure whether there was anything real here. So I interviewed, I interviewed David after I looked at his website he had at the time and made a list of questions on a yellow notebook pad. I spent about four hours or longer interviewing him and then came back a few days later and talked to him again. And so we had about a six hours worth of conversation over a few days. Every question that I asked, he answered. And I asked him very detailed scientific questions. So I realized this man actually knew what he was talking about. So I was very impressed. And I wrote a paper that was my way of explaining uh, to the technology from more of a biological point of view. And I sent this paper to a number of friends uh, there in medicine to get a review. And one of them was Dr. Carl Merritt out in California. 
And he shared it with Coach Richard Quick at Stanford. He was a coach of the Stanford women's swim team. And Richard's a very broad-minded, uh, innovative personality. And so he talked to David. He evidently read the paper, contacted David, talked to him, and decided, well, let me try this on the women's swim team. And they had phenomenal results with this. And it was a real uh, amazing breakthrough that we had a person at his level of, of, of excellence looking at our technology just right at the beginning. We noticed the athletes had a higher level of accomplishment and training. They recovered better uh, from practice session to practice session. And we noticed that they were doing better in school because they had more energy after practice. The past does not equal the future. You can change your future. You can change the future of others. The past does not equal the future. That which seems extraordinary today will be commonplace in the future. But you know what the great athlete does? And you know what the great company does? They say, if something can be done in 20 or 30 years in the future, why can't we do it today? That's what David Schmidt has done with LifeWay. We, we tragically lost uh, both of these great men uh, because of various circumstances over time. Uh, and I can tell you, I, I miss both of them deeply. They, they were incredibly great people, incredibly great friends. And um, we've created an award. It's the Richard Quick Pursuit of Excellence Award to honor this incredible man, a six-time United States Olympic coach. And Richard was the absolute symbol of integrity. He would never apply any kind of technology to his athletes if it would mean that they could possibly be harmed. He always was looking out for the health and safety of his athletes, yet he always wanted to stay on the cutting edge. And so he was extremely open-minded for a person that had achieved the pinnacle of success in this industry. He was as humble as you could imagine, very down to earth, fantastic personality, and out to make the world a better place. I want to give this award to someone in our community who goes above and beyond the call of duty. Somebody who represents integrity, someone who wants to look after the well-being of others and the well-being of their organization and someone who represents the pinnacle of success and the pursuit Pursuit of Excellence Award for 2024 is Dr. Stacy Hallweger. that to be me at all. I am so honored, so honored to be here to represent you, David, the doctor, Richard Quick, everything that they have stood for, everything that you stand for, that all of you stand for in LifeWave, everything we do, every in this journey to help you achieve success. 
Thank you so much. Thank you.